Hey everybody, Kelsey here. This is the follow-up video for accessing the calendar. If you have tried to access it on your phone, whether it is a Samsung or an iPhone, no matter your device, this process should work. I have both, I have tested it on both. Please make sure before watching this video that you have a Gmail account. Please make sure you have a Gmail account. If you go, oh no, I only have a Yahoo, I only have an AOL. Please follow the link in the comments below for signing up for a Gmail account. It is free, it takes about 30 seconds, and it will allow you to see all of the hundreds and hundreds of tours that have been entered into our guides shared calendar. So once you have signed up for your Gmail account, please get your device, your, your iPhone or your Samsung phone, turn it on and open your browser, whether that is Safari, Chrome, However you access the internet, open that application, and let's go ahead and get started. So let's type in our address for the calendar here, tinyurl.com forward slash 23 D-E-R-U-E -E number five. Press enter. If you have not signed in to your Gmail account, this is where it will prompt you to sign into your Gmail account. So I'll enter one of my emails that has never accessed the calendar before. And this is in Spanish because I'm in Spain, but the, the steps will look the same. Basically put in your email and your password, press enter or continue. And you might get a pop-up like this that says switch to the app. You can just click the bottom button that says I'm not interested and you will get this screen. You are signed in. See how I'm signed into my Gmail account there? at the bottom of the screen where it says Kelsey Travels, but yet I'm not seeing the events. So we're going to type in our calendar address one more time just to make sure. And this is also what you will see if you are signed into your Gmail when you, when you enter the calendar's address. However, we're still not seeing our events. We're still not seeing our tours. So I want you to scroll down. Do you see where it says mobile and desktop? This will make it easier to find. So I would click desktop. This is the view that you would see if you were on your computer. So you can see the calendar pops up here. It is still blank, but if you look at the side section with all of the little check marks. So I'm going to scroll in here just to show you. So my calendar is Kelsey T, birthdays, tasks, holidays in the US. And because I don't see heygoguides at gmail.com, I'm going to click on that little plus section, which will allow me to subscribe to a new calendar. When I click on the plus, then I click subscribe to a new calendar. It'll say add calendar. This is the step we've been missing for the folks who have not been able to access the calendar. This is what will allow you to access it. This is where you type in heygoguides at gmail.com. And this will not do anything to your calendars. This will not allow us to see yours. This will not delete any of your information or your events. This will only allow you access to view the Hago Guides calendar. Then you press enter or return and you'll see the text goes away, but in the left hand part of the screen, the lower part, you see that that little yellow button has been added, Hago Guides. So in the upper left hand corner, click the arrow next to settings, which is to go back to the calendar now. And now we've added the Hago Guides calendar. Well, why can't I see it? Well, remember those check marks? See how there are a lot of things checked except for the Hago Guides calendar. So in order to avoid confusion, I would recommend unchecking everything else. This doesn't delete anything. This just means you are not currently able to see it. If you click on it again, let's say it's your own calendar, if you click on it again, all of your events will reappear, so don't worry about that. But in order to avoid confusion, I would just unclick everything else and then make sure that yellow check mark next to Hago Guides is checked. And you can see all of our events appear, all of our tours appear, yay! In order to make it a little bit easier to read, do you see in the upper right hand corner where it says week with a little drop down arrow? I would click that little drop down arrow that says week and click schedule. 
That will be the most familiar version of our calendar that we have seen in a similar manner to Hago. So click schedule and then you can see all the list of tours. And then in the upper left hand corner where it says April 2023 and it has arrows pointing backwards and forwards. If you want to go to other dates, you can click those arrows that go backwards and forwards. Let's, for example, go to a tour in a few weeks here, and let me show you how to access those tours. That is another thing we learned on the survey we just sent out, that there is still some confusion about accessing the actual tours once you're on the calendar. So let's go ahead and click on this Switzerland tour on May 13th. You can see it says Kelsey Clemens Switzerland Postcard Village, and at the very top of that is where you can get to the tour link where it says buy me a coffee. That link is the actual tour link. For most guides, it doesn't have to be a buy me a coffee link. It could be a YouTube link. It could be an Eventbrite link, but most guides have put the actual tour link at the very, very top. And then once you click on that link, you can see here is the tour itself. This is where you can get tickets for it. And then let's go to a different tour. So click on the X in the upper right-hand corner of this pop-up here, and that'll let us go back to the calendar. And let's go to a tour by Stefan here, the Koikenhof Millions of Flowers on May 4th. So you click on that very first link, his is a YouTube link, and that is where you can access the tour. And this, again, I will do a video on YouTube, getting more comfortable with it, but you can see it says live in seven days. This is not an on-demand tour. And if you click out of it here, you can see the link again. You click the X in that pop-up and you can again see all of the options for the many, many dates. I'll show this example on my Samsung phone. So it's the same process. You type in the tiny URL link. It will take you to the calendar. This one might look a little different. And again, this is because it is in the mobile display view. So scroll down. You see where it says mobile versus desktop, click on desktop, and then you will be able to see a view that is a little more familiar. And again, I would recommend clicking the view option at the very top of the screen instead of week or month, I would click schedule and that will be the most familiar form of the calendar. So let me know in the comments if you are having trouble signing up for a Gmail account, because that again is one of the most important things that will let you access this calendar. And if it is still not working for you, please let me know what's happening so that I can create another video for us to get everybody on the same calendar page. <laughs> all right, I hope that you all enjoy your tours. And again, for all of our YouTube channels, please subscribe, watch a couple minutes of someone's video. In this case, you have watched a few minutes of my videos here. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will hopefully see you on a tour. Thanks everyone.